plane lands on the Cape and then crashes into several parked cars. Fortunately, there were no serious injuries at the Barnstable Municipal Airport. But the plane and more than a half dozen cars were damaged. Investigators are still trying to determine exactly what happened there. Jim Smith is live in Hyannis tonight. He has the developing details. Jim? Hi, Ken. Things are slowly getting back to normal here at the airport, but what a day it's been. Take a look here. This plane literally shot through the chain link fence here. Several people could have been killed, but as it turns out, somehow everybody's okay. The mangled remains of a small plane hoisted up by investigators looking for answers as they try to figure out what made the aircraft go out of control after it landed, careening through a chain link fence and crashing into a rental car parking lot. At some point in time, the aircraft lost control. It looks like the aircraft, uh, one of the wheels dipped into the grass and lost a little bit of directional control. The aircraft then went across the taxiway into the grass and into our rental car parking lot. Four people were on board, but none of them saw suffered life-threatening injuries. Sources say the pilot was Basha Mackinaw, treated and released from Cape Cod Hospital. We're told she's a local doctor. The fire department says there was another adult woman on board, as well as two girls. One man told me his 10-year-old daughter was one of the passengers, banged up, but okay. The propeller spun right off the plane, but nobody on the ground was hurt. Nine cars were damaged, and some spilled fuel also presented a brief environmental challenge. We think the aircraft could have lost anywhere from 20 to 30 gallons. Our crew and our fire department immediately put down a containment bags to conceal what they could from the fuel leaking out of the aircraft. And that uh, airport now is now, of course, open tonight once again. The obvious question here is how did this happen? The FAA is investigating. Live in Hyannis, Jim Smith, WBZ News. Ken and Kate, back to you.